All right, moving right along with this project. Be sure to check out part one and two in the description below. While you're down there, be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Hope everyone is doing well. Stay positive. We brought the drone out again. So most of this video will probably be from above. I think it gives a different perspective of a job site. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. Still trying to master it, but I think I got it for the most part. So when pouring a concrete retaining wall, you start with the footing first, circle back around, and then pour the wall. By doing this, it allows us to vibrate the wall without it coming out at the bottom. So this particular retaining wall will have a board finish, which pretty much means you'll see the imprint of the wood, which we use to form as the finished product. Be sure to stick around to the end and see what it looks like. So you guys know I'm always making fun of the concrete plant saying they're on their way. Well, I had to give it up to A1 that was on time. Second truck is here with the final two yards. You may notice my son is out there helping with the pump. Let's just say he got a good workout for his 17th birthday. <laughs> I'm quite sure he'll be asking for some extra money later. I can hear it now. So on Instagram, and you can follow us there, a couple questions came up about how do we remove our stakes from the retaining wall. And as your boy Montel Jordan would say, this is how we do it. And whoever remember that song, leave a comment below. Normally with our retaining walls, we only finish the top of the wall only. But since the top of the footing will be seen, we have to finish this as well. Ideally, this part would be buried. And here we are finishing the top of the wall, nice and smooth. Normally we give it a couple days before we strip. It's kind of crazy this day was no traffic in the Bay Area. So I got there kind of early and got started to the guys can. This part is pretty straightforward. Remove the nails, pick up any that fell on the ground. Remove the wall ties. truck and repeat. Just in case you haven't seen part one and two, here's a before and here's an after. Alright, so that wraps it up for this video. 
we will be having a part four and five so be sure to subscribe and be the first one to see it as always stay positive and remember it's cool to ask for help if you're in the bay area or sacramento you can hit us up for a free estimate the link is in the description below make it a good one